This is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and today we're going to look through Julie's Eats and Treats Cookbook. The author and publishing company sent it to me for free. Thank you so much. I'm enjoying it. It is easy dinner recipes, soup, side dishes, breakfast, desserts, and more. Easy family-friendly recipes from a Midwestern mom. And it's by Julie Evink. And if I said your last name wrong, I'm sorry. I should have researched that. It's been a crazy day. Okay. Jumping in, I flipped through this a couple times before on our live stream. I haven't cooked or baked anything out of it, but I saw so many recipes that my grandmother would have made also, but she wasn't from the Midwest. She was from the Northwest, and she died years ago. She was born in 1922. Anyway, she kind of cooked like this, so I'm excited to dive in. Table of contents starts off with In the Kitchen with Julie, and then breakfast, muffins and breads, salads and sides, soups and stews and i love making soup and then it keeps going there's more dinners separated by meat chicken beef pork seafood and then a dessert chapter and i'm assuming that's her partner or husband let's jump in introduction hi i'm julie i like to call myself the midwestern mom next door you'll most likely find me in slippers cozy clothes sipping a coffee while reading that sounds like me too except i drink tea here she is. In the kitchen with Julie, a meal plan, kids in the kitchen. How, oh, my 10 favorite kitchen tools, grocery list, etc. Pantry staples. I keep a very full pantry myself. First chapter, breakfast. We'll just look at a couple things in every chapter so we're not ruining the whole cookbook for you. This is a berry baked oatmeal. Ham and cheese egg muffins. And the measurements are given in cups and teaspoons. Breakfast enchiladas. I love the idea of this. Why have I never had an enchilada for breakfast? I've had breakfast burritos. This looks amazing. Next chapter we're going to look through is muffins and breads. Blueberry muffins. I'm usually lazy and I open a box of crusties and bake that. <laughs> Cruffins. That seems a little adventurous. I'm scared, but they look so good. Here's the salads and sides chapter. Toss salad with Italian dressing. This looks very much like the type of salad my boyfriend and I make almost every night. Although I don't eat a lot of those peppers. They're not spicy. They're a little hot for me. I am a super wimp. Here's a pea salad. Potato salad. Okay, I'm going to try this because I I stopped making potato salad literally 20 years ago. And let's not talk about how old I was when I did it. And I've just, I buy it at the store now. I'm so lazy and I haven't had a great recipe. And I really need to start bringing homemade potato salad with me to parties this summer, not buying something at Safeway. Macaroni salad. Dorito taco salad. Okay, that's fun. I like that. Let's jump ahead. I can't show you the whole book. Fried rice, my boyfriend's favorite meal. Hands down, he would eat that every night if he wanted to. And I know I have to make the rice the day before and let it sit in the fridge safely. In Spanish rice. But I never think ahead and make the rice the day before. Roasted sweet potatoes. My camera is kind of changing the color of these photos a little bit. Sorry about that. Trying to get a good light balance so you can see it. But I'm having an interesting lighting day where it's raining and then sunny and cloudy and then rainy. So, uh, funeral potatoes. It's always good to have something that you've practiced making several times in your repertoire in case you need to bring food over to a neighbor or someone that's grieving or having a family emergency, a meal train, etc. Soups and stews. Broccoli cheese soup. Yay! I usually have to make mine my own at home because often it has chicken stock so it's not vegetarian. So I'm looking forward to trying that recipe. Creamy chicken noodle soup. My boyfriend loves chicken noodle soup. Chicken and wild rice soup. This is great. Now down here you see Julie's notes and you see a QR code so you can scan it for the recipe. That's awesome. Hamburger soup. Slow cooker white chicken chili. This is slow cooker enchilada soup. Slow cooker beef stew. This is going to be a keep in the kitchen useful cookbook. Like don't put it away and lose it. Uh, I think we just moved to another chapter because now we're in baked chicken drumsticks and baked chicken thighs. 
So this is a great midweek uh, meal planning cookbook, dinner cookbook as well. Baked sweet and sour chicken, honey sesame chicken, because none of this is going to take that long to make. And Julie gives tips over here too. Creamy chicken enchiladas, more enchiladas. I love this lady. Chicken Alfredo bake. Look at this baked spaghetti. Oh my gosh. Now these would not be recipes I'd make in summertime when you're not turning on the oven, but lots of this stuff. The rest of the year it's cold in Seattle anyway where I live. Slow cooker, hamburger, and wild rice casserole. So we have many, many months we can turn our ovens on. One pot taco pasta. That's fun. Here's stuffed pepper casserole. And up here, I forgot to point out, prep time, cook time, and total time. That's very handy. This is lasagna, and I'm always excited to try a new lasagna recipe. This looks like the lasagna that my former sister-in-law was like, why would you put white cheese on top of lasagna? We never do that. I'm like, um, really? Everyone I know does that, but okay. I don't know what she wanted me to put on there anyway. Slow cooker French dip sandwiches. One pot Pizza pasta. This is really fun. This is definitely a family-friendly cookbook. Parmesan crusted pork chops. Okay, I'm going to peek at the last little bit of dessert. I don't want to ruin the whole book for you, but I wanted to show you this Buster Bar dessert. I didn't look up what she says about it, but it reminds me of the peanut buster parfait, which is my favorite dessert from Dairy Queen, and I hardly ever go get that because I don't need the calories. Here's a beautiful no-bake cheesecake. That is your preview of Julie's Eats and Treats cookbook. Thanks so much for sending it to me. Be sure to hit subscribe if you like looking through cookbooks with me, and I'll see you in the next video.